Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. Tracking the Australian dollar over the course of last week displayed a relatively bullish pattern. As we can see, it challenged the top side of this 74 cent handle at least six consecutive times. However, things have slightly changed with the US dollar surging on the back of a stronger than expected non-farm payrolls report and along with that gold plummeting for nearly 7% from Friday till this morning after an expected flash crash has now put the Australian dollar vulnerable to the downside which is the level seen at 73.45. Although we did briefly stab beneath there earlier at 73.27 we need to see a close under 73.45 to initiate the next move down to 72.85. Now tomorrow morning when New York closes at around 7 a.m. If we see a close under 73.45, then I do anticipate further bearishness and see the RSI drop further as it's already closed under, or underneath the midway point of 50 and watch the MACD as well. But until then, we could see a short term recovery up to 74.85. As mentioned, the US dollar surges close towards the 93 handle on Friday after the U.S. Labor Department showed that the U.S. created 943,000 jobs in July. This resulted in the best pace in nearly a year after crushing the expected 8,870,000 forecast and also beating June's report, which was revised up to 938,000. This saw the unemployment rate fall sharply from 5.7 to 5.4. This week, we also see several U.S. Fed officials speaking, which could or may shed some light on when the U.S. Federal Reserve may begin to cut back its 120 billion in monthly asset purchases. From the technical aspect, we've reached the level of the downside, that is, of 117.50, due to the given pattern of the RSI nearly already uh, in oversold area. That is. The MACD break into a possible negative signal too may see the euro drop towards 116.80 and reassess. It's going to be very choppy, I will say that, due to the recent price action we've seen since Friday. Nevertheless, the bears are still maintained from this outside range day and also keeping to this nearly marabuzu candle, which does support a bearish case to continue. And therefore, let's see. How well this level lasts at 117.50. Note it did well last very, very well. And also to note is the US dollar above the 93 handle did struggle and it may do once again. The dollar yen very much on track since its engulfing candle or bullish outside range day and the three strong candles that we've seen besides today that we could see a move up towards 1.10.20. To 110, 70, 80, where I expect to see a bearish or a correction from this top side range and plummet all the way back towards the 109 region. Technically, the balls are in, or at least in, in um, sync with both the RSI and the MACD, and therefore this should support the rise. Sterling still maintaining a weak bias against the firmer US dollar and looks towards 138.35. And reassess from there as we could be looking down towards 137.75. But it really depends on how strong this move is. You can see over the last few days the bulls have been defending each sell off. So let's see how it plays into tonight. Euro sterling maintains its range of 151.15 to around 153.50 and still a little bit hesitant towards that top side. I do anticipate that we are looking for a pullback towards 152.40 and maybe down to. 151.60 with any upside attempt to reject. As I mentioned, flash crash. Well, the market most probably is a little bit vulnerable in terms of the fact that we took closed very much on 1,760 and we stopped building underneath there. It may have actually been part of the catalyst to see the uh, flash crash all the way down to 1,684 before rebounding. The other aspect as well, of course, is that uh, the non-farm payrolls has given the market a bit of a jitter and therefore could start seeing Fed speakers this week talk a little bit more hawkish. 
At present, as my target earlier from Friday was to 1,760, has now left me neutral as we trade quite close to this region into the European session. I'd rather wait and see and get a little bit more direction in terms of if this is a true fall towards then 1,668 to 80 or retest the lows. But I'd like to see a little bit more evident towards this current break of 1,760 before making that call. So I'll stay neutral in the short term. Oil reaches its target of $66.60, but still looks relatively bearish, as we can see here from the two indicators. At present, though, I feel that the market may actually stretch a little bit lower. Now, I've lowered my target already uh, from $68 down to $66.60. Now, I'm now looking towards $64.70.80 and reassess from there. Well, that wraps it for today. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the intro report. I hope you enjoy the rest of the day and the start to the new week.